hey guys welcome back to my channel it's your girl Bridgie how you guys doing I hope you're doing well today I'm loving this my makeup oh hmm? I told you guys I found this concealer or what's it called it's foundation I found it in Nigeria my friend introduced me to it and I'm loving it I'm loving it but for this hair I don't know I'm not I'm not so liking the hair I'm gonna take it off soon because it's not my cup of tea anyway how you guys doing i hope you're doing well today i have an update i want to give you guys regarding i did a video once upon a time called my experience of being a landlord in nigeria it was on my obodo Yubo tv channel and a lot of people you know engaged with that video unfortunately i don't have the link at the moment i would have linked it here but when i get my channel back and I have all my videos back i'm going to link it here um for those of you who haven't seen it I was basically ranting about you know the frustrations I, I experienced about owning a property in Nigeria you know renting the property and what's happened regarding you know the people that are supposed to be the ones renting the property out how they were cheating me and all the nonsense they were doing so the update of that is that the property is still there I said I was gonna sell it when I did that video but my brother did not allow me to he said you need to leave it don't sell it there's no point selling it it's still generating income no matter how small it's all right leave it abuja prime place prime location just leave it and a lot of people reached out to me they wanted to buy that property that time i didn't actually realize how powerful when you put information out there how powerful it is i i did not know honestly but so many people were emailing me and said they wanted to buy the property and i responded to to them to say that you know my brother has advised me against you know selling it so i've just left it so it's been there and what happened after that time i think that video was like um when was it maybe about three years ago or so yeah i think it was about three years ago i did that video three or four years ago i did that video yeah no three years ago it was three years ago so update property is still there after my experience with that nasty agent that you know put people there and was collecting the money and was using the house as his um, guest house we change um the agent so i have a friend whose husband is an estate agent by the time i finish narrating the story you will see why you never ever mix your pleasure with business don't give business to people because they are your relative or because they are your friends or they are your friend's husband or whatever because he always it just sours everything i'm telling you it sours everything so after that experience i came back and even wasn't because the man is someone that knows me we are close he was one like ah bridgie you see me here uh, i thought you uh, 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 you will give me your house to manage you never give me your house to manage you gave it to somebody else and look what happened the person i can never cheat you give me the house to manage blah 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 so we did renovations i gave it to the man manage my dear we have been managing he has been managing and it's been stories upon stories since then oh my god oh my god you know the thing i realize is that um people will never change who they are the leopard do not does not change its its colors and so nigerians who live in nigeria will always take advantage of nigerians who live overseas because they say oh you are abroad you are not here so they can do they think they can do whatever they want to do because you are not there to manage it or to oversee what they are doing because even when you are in nigeria you have to keep like you have to you have to be on top of things before somebody will not cheat you or before somebody will not dupe you or before somebody will not take advantage so you can imagine when you are thousands of miles away they don't care they're just gonna say oh how's he gonna find out how's she gonna find out cut a long story short gave the property to this man to manage did a lot of renovations and the tenant moved in hey god the tenant that moved in turned out to be somebody that this man was having an affair with which i never knew i don't know what happened maybe they had their lovers quarrel or something i don't know what happened eventually the woman left the house and i think they fought or they fell out and when this woman was going to leave the house and this was in 2017 this woman ripped out every single thing in that property there's nothing she did not remove she removed the wire she removed the nepa uh, meter she removed the card she removed the water meter she tore the house apart she, she she destroyed the house before she left 
when he took the pictures he, then, he failed to tell me that time that he was having something to do with this woman it was it was later that i found out oh so he, he, he sent me messages upon messages and saying that oh this is what this woman did oh he knows where she works she works in road safety he's gonna go and meet her and uh, meet their bosses he's already gone there to meet them she can't do that she's gonna pay for the renovations and everything i say how can a woman living in another woman's house destroy the house so much just because you have a problem with the, the agent who is your boyfriend that you are cheating cheating with how can anyway nothing came out of that so he did not follow it up me i didn't know that it's because they were having an affair and they fought and that's why things got sour and the woman became an animal who who, who wanted to, to to destroy another person's another person's property but you know what that woman wherever she is she's not going to go scot free I believe strongly that karma will deal with her. What she has done to me, she's going to reap a thousand what she has done to me. As she destroyed my property, God will send people who destroy her own property. Because you cannot behave like that. How are you going to go into somebody else's property? It doesn't belong to this man who is your man friend. And you decide that, okay, because he, you and him, you have whatever issue that you have, the way to pay him back is to rip apart a property that has been given to him to, 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 to manage. I don't know if, she lie, if he lied to her, that he's the owner of the property because it's someone I come, I come to find out that he lies a lot. He never says the truth about anything. Okay. We had to renovate again. Another person moved in. And this person moved in and um, did a lot of renovation. The, he came back and this was in 20, 2018. He came and told me that um, they used 250,000 naira to renovate the place. So when the rent was paid, he told me that the money they used to renovate he was going to remove it from the rent i didn't fight him i just said okay whatever i said i said okay i didn't i didn't say nothing because i saw the state of the place it was not in a state that anybody could rent that property the way it was it was really really bad like it was completely destroyed i said okay he took the money from it and the person started living there last year was 2019 it was time for the tenancy to be renewed again he came with stories again that uh, they renewed this they did this they did this so i said to him i said is it every year that you renovate i don't understand last year you told me that the house was renovated which was in 20 2018 which i completely understand because of the state of the property now you're telling me again that the house has been renovated you've done it you've done it why are you renovating every year who renovates a house every year is it not the same person that is in the house has the person left he told he told, he shot those stories told stories upon stories upon stories i didn't say anything so he collected rent again and gave me whatever he felt that he needed to give me so the longer short of it is that he if he collects the rent of let's say the rent is maybe 1.5 million he will give me eight hundred thousand and pocket the rest that's what he was doing which i didn't know and all the innovation that he was telling me about were they were all lies let me get to it so i was in nigeria this time around i decided to go to the place i said ah, let me go to this house and see what's going on you know let me even go and see let me meet the tenant get to meet the tenant introduce myself and you know see how the place is if they are managing it well if there's any renovation that needs to be done and even get to the root cause of all this everyday renovation every day will tell me eh, water meter has spoiled eh, nepal meter has this this that 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 doors are spoiled i said okay let me get to it so i went there that day the woman was in there. It's a woman who, who stays in the place with her sisters. And then the sister came to the door. I introduced myself. She was very skeptical. She didn't want me to let me in and everything. I said, okay, give me your sister's number. I'll call her. And then she called her sister. I spoke to her. I was like, oh my God. Oh, I wanted to meet you. They told me you live abroad. And you know, I've been trying to get your number. Nobody wants to give you my number. Uh, give me your number and all that. I'm so glad that you came. I need to talk to you. I was like, really? Oh, okay. Mm hmm. <laughs> I just said okay because I knew the way she was excited. There's more to this story that made I I mean the tenant is not just gonna be so excited to meet the landlord, except there's something dodgy going on, or there's something fishy going on that she wants to talk to the landlord about. So I said, okay, we are in to meet. And two days later I went to see her with a friend, and that's when the can of worm was open. Apparently, what's been happening is that two years ago, when this woman moved into this property, the 250000 that this man, who is supposed to be a friend's husband, told me that he took to renovate the flat, he didn't do it. She, she told me, and she showed me, 
the she showed me all the receipts she showed me everything how she renovated the property she is the one the tenant is the one that renovated the house and this man never paid her back the money all the text messages from 2018 this woman kept all the messages she was showing me their exchanges where he was saying oh don't worry i'm going to pay you back do this do this i'll pay you back i'll talk to the landlord and everything he never paid her back so he took that money for renovation but he didn't pay this tenant was the one that renovated the flat by, by herself she renovated the place so i said okay fine so you renovated, he didn't pay you. I understand that. What about last year? You renovated, uh, you, you, he told me when you were about to, to renew the rent last year in 2019 that there was renovation that needed to be done and you renovated. The woman shouted and fell on the ground. She shouted and fell on the ground. She said, Miss B, let me tell you, I did not renovate nothing last year. She showed me the transfer where she transferred money into this man's account. She paid the rent in full. There was nothing for renovation. Ah. Oh, I felt cold. I felt really, really cold. That people would go this low. In fact, when I was telling my uncle the story, my uncle was like, No, that's not possible. Don't tell me this man. This man will go this low because of money. I said, Well, he's, 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 he's not only gone low, he's gone into the gutters and he's, he started eating with swine because of money. I brought out the text message where he texted me and all the things he said he did. He said he paid 80,000 naira for roofing. Uh, there was some problem with leaking in the roof. He spent 80,000 naira. He said he spent 40,000 naira for uh, water meter or whatever. He said was bad. He shall calculated all the expenses and told me that altogether the expenses that he did was 180,000. He even said, he even said that, uh, <laughs> he even said out of pocket expenses. Please ask me what is out of pocket expenses calculated all of them i have all the messages thank god because I'm, I'm the kind of person that i'm not so good at keeping records i'm good at shredding things or throwing things away deleting messages but for some reason because i knew he was cheating me from last year i already suspected that something fishy was going on so i didn't delete those messages i just archived them so when i was talking to this lady i brought out the message i said madam please read and she started reading i was like oh my god oh my god these are all the expenses he told you he made in this property? I said, yes. And these are all the deductions he took from the rent that you paid him. She was shocked. She said, what? Now, not a single thing in terms of renovation was done in that property. Not a single thing. The roof, she was the one that did the repairs for the roof by herself, of which she didn't get a dime from him. There was some leakages. There was some leaking a problem, which she resolved herself. He never gave her a dime. So I say, are you telling me that this man wrote all these expenses, 180,000 naira, took it from my rent, still took his 5% or 10% or whatever percent he was taking from the rent? Ah, people are so wicked. When the Bible says that the heart of man is desperately wicked. Ah, I was, I was so, so disappointed. I didn't know what to do. I said, okay, what am I going to do now? I said, okay, I'm going to use wisdom to handle this. I spoke to my husband. I spoke to my uncle in Nigeria. And he said, you know what? There's no point fighting about it. Just tell him he's no longer responsible. Just find a way to phase him out of the property. So he never has access to it again. He never does anything here anymore. But I was thinking, you know what? I was thinking if his wife, who is supposed to be my friend, knows all this is going on, why would she not tell me? Or why would she claim that she doesn't know what is going on? How would she say she doesn't know? Because I remember there was a time last year that I complained to her and I said, look at what your husband is doing. I think your husband is cheating me. And she never got back to me. She didn't say anything, you know? So I suspected that she's into it as well, that she knows what is going on. I didn't say anything. So I don't know how he found out that I went there because I told the tenant not to even tell him that I went there. Next thing, uh, he came and started saying that, oh, uh, that the tenant, uh, he was lying. That the tenant, somebody he was telling his wife that the tenant uh, phoned him and was complaining that the landlady came here. How can she just come here like that? She can't just badge on me like that. Who gave her the right to come here? I said, really? You said the tenant told you that your husband said your husband told you, the tenant told you that? She said, yes. I said, oh, interesting. You know when a white man doesn't know what to say anymore about a case? They just say interesting. Very interesting. <laughs> it was interesting because I didn't know what to say. I said, this is the same woman that was thanking God that she found she found that I came around and we had a long chat. She's the one that is complaining to you. I knew it was a lie. 
So, as at the time I was going to leave Nigeria, it, it didn't sit with me like I shouldn't bring this up to my friend. That this is what your husband has done. It was in my conscience and I, I, I was not comfortable with it. So I decided to call her and say, this is what is going on. I've been to the house and I know everything. The tenant has told me everything. Your husband has been cheating me for so long. 2017, he put his girlfriend there. And the girlfriend ripped apart the house, destroyed the property that cost me 250000 to renovate. 20, uh, that, uh, 2018, he, he took 250000 naira that he said he was going to uh, use to renovate. He never renovated anything. Last year, he took 180000 again. He's been cheating me consistently for three long years in this property. She was like, oh, this, that, eh, this, that. Of course, what's she going to say? Well, she's not going to take side against her husband. She's not going to take side against... She's not going to side a friend against her husband. But you know what? I just told her because I said, I know this is going to impact on our friendship because obviously you're going to take side with your husband, but I cannot deal with people who are cheating me. I can't. I cannot be friends with someone who is cheating me. That relationship will not work because I don't cheat people. And if you are cheating as a friend, then you are not my friend. Anyway, we talked about it and she was like, oh, she didn't know. She's sorry, but I was not convinced that she didn't know. We left it there and we came and I just left it there and I came back. And then I said to her, I said, can you please tell him the money he's taken for some of the things that he has not done? Because I had to replace three doors. When, when I, I came to Nigeria, I had to replace three doors. The woman told me the, the doors that he was, he was supposed to change two years ago, he didn't change them. I had to pay somebody instantly to change those doors. I said, now the money he was supposed to pay, he took 80,000 naira for water meter. Can you tell him to return the money? And that's what I've been waiting on. Every day, I'll text him. He'll say, he'll be telling me stories. This, that. Eventually, I'm going to have to pay to replace that water meter because I know everything that comes out of his mouth is a lie. He's not going to do it. And I will have to pay to get that water meter fixed so that I can get rid of him. But I'm just telling you guys the story so that you can understand the level of deception that people can get to. When people, when you miss business with pleasure, this is what happens. People that are your friends or family, you tell them to manage something for you. You have a property in Nigeria. You tell them to manage it for you or you have anything that you are doing. You have a business in Nigeria. You tell them to manage it or to oversee it for you. This is the length that they can go to just to deceive you, to dupe you, just to gain something very minimal and that by doing so they ruin a friendship or a relationship that has been ongoing for a very long time and this is what is so painful to me because i value my friendship i value the relationship i have i have with people and because of this man now the relationship i have with the wife is going to be affected and it's very very hurt it hurts me and it's painful to me because because of her of his action directly or indirectly is impacted on our friendship this is what people do because of instant gratification. It's not like he wasn't making money for it. He was collecting his agency fee from that property every year. But he wanted more. He was greedy and he wanted more. And greed is the root cause of everything that we're talking about now. I don't know if I'm ever going to get that money back. I suspect that I will not get it back. My uncle already told me that, you know what, you just have to forget that money and find a way. To, to, to just get it sorted because he's never going to bring that money. Every time I send him a message, I say, pay the money into my account. He will tell stories. He will hand me an epistle of, of English that have made no sense, broken English that you cannot even construct and make a sentence out of that you cannot even understand. You cannot even understand what he's saying. Just simple transfer money. And then he will start writing an epistle. When people start telling so many stories like that, there's a lie. It's just to confuse you when they don't do what they're supposed to do. This is the height of the deception. But me, I'm not even using an agent anymore. Mm -hmm. It's come to that stage now. I have the contact of the woman. And I've told her, when your rent is due, please, this is my account number. Pay into it. If you have any repairs you need to do, take a picture and send to me. I will send the money to workmen that will go and do it. This is my obligation to you as a landlord. To make sure that the house is fit for you to, to inhabit, for you to live in. So your responsibility is to pay rent to me. Please, this man is of this property. If you pay rent to him, it's at your own risk. I'm going to kick you out. Because you are not going to be paying to me. He's no longer my agent. He does not represent me. I do not know him. Because I cannot deal with people who cheat. It's, 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 it's painful. It's heartbroken. And this is somebody that claims to be my brother. He's my brother. Every time I say, oh, I'm your brother. No, you're not my brother. You're not. My brother will not cheat me. You're not. You are never my brother. All you care about is what you can get from me. It is so, so sad. 
and disgusting what people do for money in Nigeria. It's disgusting. Anyway, this is my update of uh, my experience of being a landlord in Nigeria. This is where we are now. Um, two agents have done two two agents in a period of of um, of six six to seven years. They've really messed themselves up, and it's come to a point now where I just have to take ownership and do what I need to do from here. No more agents. I'm not even giving any housing agent, any lawyer, anybody anymore. I'm going to do my thing myself. Honestly, this is where it's going to be going forward. So, if you have a property in Nigeria or you have a business in Nigeria that somebody is helping you to manage, uh, chances are, not all the time, but in most cases, something dodgy is going on there. So, you better check and be sure that they are not cheating you because uh, it is those who are closest to you that will stab you in the heart. I tell you. Just going to leave you here today. Uh, leave your thoughts and comments in the comment section. I'll speak to you guys in my next one. Thanks a lot for watching. I love you. Bye-bye.